Pneumonia is the leading cause of death in children worldwide. Even with appropriate antibiotics, standard oxygen therapy and other supportive care, in many hospitals in developing countries, one in ten children with very severe pneumonia die. In this study at the International Centre for Diarrheal Disease Research in Bangladesh, we compared standard oxygen therapy with oxygen therapy that was delivered by continuous positive airway pressure, or CPAP. We used a technique called bubble CPAP. Bubble CPAP differs from standard oxygen therapy because it provides pressure to make breathing easier. The child receives concentrated oxygen mixed with air. With every breath, the child exhales through the nasal interface into tubing which is submerged underwater. This generates bubbles and provides the child with CPAP. We conducted a randomised trial in 225 Bangladeshi children who were diagnosed with the World Health Organisation defined severe pneumonia and low oxygen levels. Children were randomly allocated to receive oxygen by bubble CPAP, standard low flow nasal cannula oxygen or high flow nasal cannula oxygen. Children who received oxygen by bubble CPAP had significantly lower rates of treatment failure and death compared to children who received oxygen by low flow nasal cannula therapy. Our trial was stopped early because of these differences in outcome. Bubble CPAP is a promising low cost therapy for treatment of children with severe pneumonia and hypoxemia in hospitals in developing countries where the only treatment until now has been standard oxygen therapy.